Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. In this coming three videos, we are going to discuss file upload Next.js using folder, file upload using S3 bucket in the Next.js 14, and the file upload Firebase Next.js 14. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first one, file upload using Next.js on folder okay so here we go with the our code so now we will go over here so here we have a pages pages api then we have a customers so this is basically the file upload screen and here we are just hitting the api okay and here in the uploads we are going to let me empty this folder uploads where we have public uploads okay let's try to upload the files any of the files you can see this image this is mp4 we want this images preview let's try to uh, currently you can see that there is no image over here here you can see uploads is empty right let's try to upload this after uploading it automatically refetches the data okay and here you can see that this image is there okay so let's see and how i have done this one so let's close this and let's take a look of that one so first of all we have we have a page router basically i'm doing so you can do with the app router also same so here we have the customers uh, i have created a folder customers and here we have index.js file and this is my component right so we are using use state from the react and the image from the next image okay so here's my upload component so here these are the states so selected file set selected file image url set image url by default they are null okay after that where we have the handle file change so whenever there is a file change so we are going to just select the target file if file is there then we are just creating a url we're getting extracting the url and set into the image right after that we have a handle submit when i click on the submit button what will happen i'm taking a form data and append that file selected file into that form data and send this request to the api okay so here api slash upload that is a post request i'm going to send into the form data okay after this whatever the result it come it up basically i'm just sending the uh, message and the url so here i'm just setting the image url okay and if there is error then it will go over here okay and this is the last that that is in the set error message that is the catch block that error uploading the file okay and then here we have the form where we have a handle submit button handle file change and upload button okay if the image url is coming uh, state is set with the image url then it will give you that image url okay and uh, if it is like uh, if it is preview then definitely we have already set this image url so whenever i show the preview so if the file is there right if i'm getting the file then it will set the image url as the create object url and if we getting the file okay so here you can see that when i get the file from the api i set that image url and respectively i show over here okay let's check the api section so api that we have load.js file so here i am using the uh, form middle formidable okay and promises path so here we have the api config with disable the next year's body parsing form data right next this is the handler function okay so method request is not post then we are showing that the method not allowed so multi multiples true allow multiple file uploads so these are the fields right so await form dot parts request so if you don't know how the formidable work then you can go to the npm formidable you can get to know that how i have done this okay so same thing i have done okay so here i am just getting the files with the zero index and here i can check that the what the image file name if the image file name is not there and the file path is not there then i will show that the no image file uploaded if it is there then i'm going to set the uploads directory that's a public upload so here in the publics 
public and upload i have just uploaded the images here you can see that right if it is not directory then i am going to create a directory that is upload directory okay and the next one just making the unix date now path random with an image for file name so new file name i have created and in the path i am going to append it here you go upload directory and this is the path so the new file path move to uploaded file so with the help of this you are able to move the uploaded file and you will log the new file path okay and here you can see that the message that image uploaded successfully and the image url with new file name okay and if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block that failed to upload the image okay so the image is coming right you can here process the database logic also to save that image url into your database and then you can fetch the data wherever you want to show right so this is that one that you can upload the image in, into your local directory local folders right so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video in the next video we will going to learn about the s3 bucket right so let's see in the next video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day